Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario based on trigger, card and move. Let's understand the requirement of a trigger scenario. So when an account record is created and copy billing to shipping checkbox is checked. So this copy billing to shipping is a custom checkbox field that we need to create on account object. If on account record creation, this checkbox is checked, then we need to copy account billing address to shipping address, right? So we need to create trigger on account, then trigger handle class, and then I will be uh, showing you like how we can implement the test code, code coverage with the help of test class. So jumping to developer edition org, so developer console is already opened. Now in my org, I already have account trigger created. So in one of the other scenario, I created this. So here you can see account trigger is created. Uh, event is before insert. So for this requirement also, we need before insert because on account record creation, we just need to uh, copy account billing information to shipping information. So this trigger will be useful. Then this trigger handler here, I will be implementing one method. And uh, after that, uh, when I will be implementing test class, I will be opening that. Before that, I need to create a checkbox field as well. So I am opening the setup. So in object manager under account object, we need to create a field. So I clicked on new and I'm selecting checkbox, clicking on next. So field label is copy billing to shipping and clicking on next. So making it available for all the profiles, clicking on next and it will be available on the layout as well. And then I'm clicking on save. So this way, what happened, uh, the field is created. Now I need to go to developer console, doing a refresh so that newly created field will reflect here. So again, I'm going to open account trigger and its handler. Okay, so now here I need to implement one method. So in this demonstration, you will also get to know like in one trigger, how we can implement more than uh, one business logic. So public, static, void. So I'm naming it as copy billing to shipping. And here we need to use list of account. ACC list, right? So here also we use named as name as ACC list. So you can reuse it because it is a different method, right? Now I'm just saving this, copying this method name and here I'm going to reuse it. So first of all, I'm copying and pasting it. Again, I'm copying this method name and pasting it here. So this way now this uh, trigger will be executing two methods. One is update rating and one is copy billing to shipping. So now it's time to implement the code here. So what I need to do, I need to implement a loop. And inside this loop, I need to check the condition. So if ACC dot uh, now we need to have that field API, copy billing to shipping. So I'm just going to search it. Okay, so in this org, uh, copy billing to mailing is there. Uh, we created copy billing to shipping. So I'm copying it. Pasted it here. So if this checkbox is true, then only uh, we need to copy billing information into shipping information, right? Now, if I take you to the account record, so on account record in the details section, 
if I add it. So here you can see billing address and shipping address. And they have street, city, state, postal code, country. These five fields are there. But if you search here, like address, so you will find billing address and uh, shipping address. So if you use these API names directly, so it will be incorrect, right? So let's say I copy this. So if, if I use it like this, so this is incorrect. If you write the statement, so if you try to save it, you will receive an error message. So you can see it here. Field is not writable, account.shipping address. Okay. So this is incorrect. So we need to remove the statement. Instead, we need to write acc. Shipping city equals to acc. Billing city. Like this, individually, you need to copy the fields. acc. Shipping. country equals to acc dot billing country acc dot shipping postal code equals to acc dot billing postal code then acc dot shipping state equals to acc dot billing state then acc dot shipping street equals to acc dot billing street so this way you can copy the information right now you can save it so our business logic is implemented now uh, this trigger is already saved trigger handler is saved now moving to ui so i'm going to create new account record Okay, and I am enabling this checkbox, copy billing to shipping. And here I'm uh, writing test street, test city, test state, uh, sample postal code, and test country. And I'm clicking on save. So record is created. If I go to details, so you can see checkbox is checked and whatever is available in billing address, it is available in shipping address as well. Right? Now, if I try to create one more record and enable this checkbox and this time suppose billing address is blank. And if I click on save, so this time uh, you can see nothing happened, right? So if you want to apply this condition, like if this checkbox is checked and billing information is not blank, then only uh, information should be copied. So what you can do here, you can apply end condition and you can write ACC dot billing city not equals to null. So like this, you can add conditions. So right now, what will happen if this checkbox is checked and billing uh, city is not null, then only uh, this piece of code will be working. So this way you can apply uh, other things like billing country, postal code, billing state, billing street as well in this condition check, right? So this is best practice. Unnecessary your code should not work. So you need to take care of that as well. Now I'm going to show you how we can implement the code coverage for this. So this is account trigger handler test class, which is already implemented. And here we have this update rating test method. Now I'm going to implement one more method. So let me implement it in the beginning so that it will be visible on the whole screen. So you can implement after this method as well or before uh, order doesn't matter. So public static void copy billing to shipping test. So now here I need to implement the code. So first of all, I need to create the data. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this code and I'm pasting it here. So if you already have test methods implemented, so you can reuse codes. In later uh, examples, I will be demonstrating 
how uh, you can use at the rate test setup and test utility classes to manage the data as well. So right now what we are doing, ACC list is created and uh, through this iteration, five account records are created. So I'm just removing this ACC.industry because it is not required here. Instead, I'm writing ACC. Sorry, billing city equals to test city. ACC dot billing country equals to test country. ACC dot billing postal code equals to one two three four. ACC dot billing state equals to test state. ACC dot billing street equals to test street. So these information uh, I provided. Now, what I need to do, I need to populate the checkbox copy billing to shipping as true, right? And this postal code, I think I need to put in single quotes because it is showing some error. Now, uh, this copy billing to shipping is true. Right, so if it is true, then uh, all this billing information will be copied to shipping information, right? Now this uh, list is inserted. After this, we need to apply assert. So what we need to do, we need to query some data. So I'm applying list of account, updated ACC list equals to, then select ID comma. So I'm just going to, Query shipping city from account where ID equals to ACC list of zero dot ID. So here uh, you can see we created this account list which is having five records. So the first records ID I am uh, comparing here because if this record is updated, it means all other records are also updated because we are using this DML operation. So DML uh, performs operation on uh, either zero records or all records, right? So if one record is updated, then uh, we can consider like other records are also updated. So after this, we can apply assert. So system dot assert equal. So here we need to put expected value and then actual value. So expected value for shipping city will be test city. So here I'm putting it and actual I'm writing updated ACC list of zero dot shipping city and I need to enclose this uh, single quote here and then semicolon so this way uh, this test method is implemented okay so this is our complete method now I can execute it so I just save this test class Right, so both the test methods will be executed. So I'm just expanding this, clicking on tests and clicking on run test. So here you can see our test is passing, total two is available here, right? And if you expand, so here you can see both are passing. So if you have more than one test methods in your test class, so both will be uh, executed. If anyone is failing, so your whole test class will fail. Now, if I go here, so you can see, it is showing like with which method, uh, with which test method this trigger is covered. So overall coverage is 100% and both the triggers are covering it 100%, right? And if I go here, so you can see uh, this update, Rating test is covering 58% of code and uh, copy billing to shipping test is covering 91 and overall 100% code is covered. So if I click on this one, so because of that, uh, you can see this piece of code is covered, which is highlighted in blue and rest red is not covered because uh, with this update rating test here, we have not populated any billing information, right? It is not working for that. But if I click here, so through billing information, uh, test method, uh, this this uh, method is also covered, but here industry is not populated. That is why it is not covered, right? 
And if I click on this option, so 100% code is covered. So it means test class is implemented correctly and whole trigger and trigger handler code is covered. So this way, I hope you understood how uh, we can create a uh, trigger for this requirement and trigger handler and how we can uh, cover the code with the help of test class.